Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and today I'm going to do a quick video on creating a drawable wavetable oscillator in Reactor. This is a subject I get a lot of questions about and it can be performed pretty easily. If you like this tutorial, please check out our website at ReactorTutorials.com. We have new videos and written tutorials every week. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a system to draw and save wavetables. And we're going to use an audio table for this purpose. So we go to the function tab of the properties and we can set the table size to be the length of the wavetable that you want to create. I'm just going to use 512 samples here. I think you can probably get better results by using a larger wavetable, but I haven't tested that hypothesis yet. All right, and let's also turn the minimum value to negative one so we can draw a full waveform. And I'm going to turn the clip wrap function to clip. And hopping over to the view tab, I'm going to turn the scroll bars off. I'm going to turn the label and the value off. And we'll change the width to 256 so it doesn't take up quite so much space on our panel. So we're going to use this audio table to draw and store our wavetable samples. And this is really simple. We don't even need to connect the audio table to any other modules. It doesn't even need to be active. All we need to do is right click and select the table draw mode. And you can simply draw in wavetables with your mouse after that. And when you have one that you like, you can go to the properties and choose the function tab. And down here in the file area, we're going to choose the save command. And you can save the data in the audio table as a WAV file. All right, so I'm just going to take a moment to draw in a few waveforms for us here. So we can select between a few different types. And we'll just get one more. And to play back these samples, I'm going to use a sampler module called the Sampler Loop. And I'm going to turn the quality to excellent. We're going to select the oscillator mode and the no stereo options in the function tab of the properties. And with that module selected, we can choose the sample map editor at the top of the screen here and turn it on. And we can add our samples using the add function at the bottom here. And they're going to load up with various uh, pieces of data for the low and high trigger values and stuff like that, which we can mostly ignore. The root is important because it'll decide how we're going to select that sample using the select input of the sampler loop module. Um, but they should load into a pretty sensible pattern all on their own. So we, should, we don't need to really worry about any of that stuff for this tutorial. Okay, so on the right hand side of the sample or map editor, select the waveform view if it's not already selected. And with all of the samples highlighted at once, you can press the loop button and that'll set all of these samples to all these waveforms to loop. And I think it's good practice to embed all your samples as well. So just select the embed option. All right, so now we can start setting up our sampler loop module. First, let's create a control for the select input using the create control command. And that'll just choose which waveform we're going to be using as our oscillator. And next I'll create pitch and gate inputs, uh, modules for the pitch and gate inputs. 
and we can actually ignore pretty much everything else. We do need to set an amplitude, so I'm just going to use a simple AR envelope to hold the amplitude to a positive value when the gate is on. And we can connect the output directly to the output of our ensemble. And we don't need to use the right output because it's not a stereo waveform anyway. All right. And so the last thing I'm going to do is add a simple oscilloscope so we can look at our waveform and confirm that we're actually getting out the same uh, waveform that we're drawing in. So I'm just going to use a ramp oscillator to drive the X input of an XY module and it takes a frequency for an input so we'll translate our incoming pitch to a frequency and give it an amplitude of one and sync it on a new gate. So this is just creating a very simple oscilloscope that'll show us one wave, one oscillation of our waveform. All right, and we'll just turn the object type to scope and make a few other changes in the properties to the look and feel of our XY module. Alright, so we have our audio table, we have our sampler loop module, we have our XY oscilloscope. Oh, and we need to set our scope to have a negative, to have a minimum Y value of negative 1. Okay, so everything appears to be in working order. That's how you create a drawable wavetable oscillator in Reactor. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please check out our website at reactortutorials.com where we have a ton of other content. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And hopefully I'll see you next week.